Hey guys, uh, this is Ryan here. I wanted to bring you another video. Uh, this is a video that I talked about a little bit ago on how to pack a pack. And uh, there are other pack packing videos, um, mainly for sport climbing or for backpacking or even mountaineering. I wanted to talk about how I pack a pack for a multi-pitch rock climb that's gonna, it'll be a trad climb. Just to show, uh, just to prove a point that you don't really need a big pack for this. This is a 30 liter uh, speed pack. It's made by Black Diamond. This was my main backpack for a long time. And uh, it got me up just about every run I tried out. And um, I've been seeing people with these really big backpacks. And that is fine if you wanted to bring that. But I just wanted to illustrate how small you could get with uh, these packs that you have for just a one day outing of uh, rock climbing maybe a you know four to five six seven pitch route so uh i tend to pack my backpack um with the all the technical gear on the bottom and so uh what i have is eight quick draws this is as many as i usually bring four alpine four sport quick draws and then my rack which i have right here it's uh, pretty much a standard rack I bring. Uh, let's see, a full set of stoppers, number three, two twos, two ones, two seven fives, two point fives, one point four, one point three, and then I have a few uh, smaller cams, the blue, green, and black alien. Um, but this is pretty much what I'll bring for a standard rack. And uh, I have a couple carabiners on here because this sling, I actually just use an alpine draw and clip the carabiners on. Um, because that way I'm not carrying around an extra piece of material that I don't exactly need. So uh, this is a top loading backpack. It doesn't really have uh, a zipper going down the front. Sometimes what I'll do, especially if I have a bit of a bigger rack, is I'll actually take the uh, some of the bigger cams like the threes and the twos. You know, let me stick the stoppers on the other side. There we go. So I'll bring the threes and the twos, and we'll have all the other ones right there. And the lobes of the cam, I'll just offset them, put them on the other side, and get the cams into a nice thick bundle like that, and you just slip that into your backpack. Try to get them on the side and flip it up. Just arrange it all so that way it sort of fits in the bottom. You do this bouncing thing that helps settle all the gear. Quick draws, they can sort of conform to whatever, so I'll try to fit those where the cams are not fitting quite right. And the key is just trying to get as much of it all filling out the bottom as possible, but you will have some air spaces. Also have my medical kit, which some people bring a smaller one. A lot of times I'll bring a smaller one than this. I just can't find mine right now, so I'm using that one. So sometimes I put that underneath the cams, other times just here. Doesn't really matter because everything has to come out of your backpack when you get to the base of the climb anyway. Next thing I'll put in is my harness. So my harness loaded up with all the gear that you see in my other videos. And I'll just leave all this stuff on there because there's kind of no point to take it off, in my opinion. What I do, since there's a bunch of crap on it, is I stick the leg loops together, fold the waist loop over so that way it's kind of like two-dimensional. Then you just throw it on in. Don't be afraid to get pretty aggressive with this stuff because it is rock climbing gear. It's not like it's ultra fragile or anything. There you go, just push that down. Next I have my shoes and chalk bag. So a chalk bag I kind of tend to put in. The harness usually leaves a little bit of a divot in the middle. Chalk bag fills it out nicely. Shoes, you know, just put them together and Sort of a small package, don't be afraid to smush those down as well, especially if they're nice and broken in. So at this point, the shoes, I'm not sure if you can actually see this. There you go. So the shoes are right here. The backpacks fold to probably about this height. It's pretty well full. 
uh, with my shoes. I also put in my water bottle right on top. This does make it look a little blocky, but that is the most efficient way to pack it. There you go. This backpack also has a skirt. A lot of them do. Oops. If I don't pull out everything in there. So there you go, it has ample room for expansion, even though I personally don't really need it too much. Another thing I will have is an extra layer of some sort, or maybe two or even three. And I'll also have my helmet. So what I can do, if I fold this thing all over, So I can take the jacket and put it in. And you can see how the backpack's pretty much full at this point. Then the helmet goes right on top. Helmets usually fit best on top of the pack because they uh, are round to like the top of the pack. So helps just to cap off the whole thing. Well, uh, that's pretty much the entire backpack packed right there. So I'll pull up that skirt. The way this backpack is made is I can also pull up another tightening port. Everything fits just nice and tight. I'm just sort of tightening it up right now, making it look a little bit better, a little more clean. There we have a full backpack. Now, for those that are unlucky enough to have to carry the rope as well, you can easily put that underneath the hood. This backpack has all these side compression straps. So I'll just loosen up and undo all of those. There we go. And I also loosened up the hood a whole lot. And my rope, which is way over here. There we go. I can just put it on top. Now I'm using the backpack coil for this or the New England coil. You can refer to my rope coiling video if you want to learn how to coil your rope like this. Make sure it's sort of nice and center. I'll take the straps. I have four straps, two on each side, so this could take a little bit, especially if I can't find them. There you go, and I am a fan of doing all of the straps other than just the top two. If I only had to choose two straps, then I would choose the bottom because I would help hold the rope in place a bit more. There you go, make sure I get all the uh, strands of the rope in these things. There you go. And a lot of backpacks, this one has it too. They'll also have a strap that goes around the top right here and clips in. I got the clip right here. Sometimes I'll use that. Other times I don't really feel the need exactly. I think I got mine in here. There we go. Because the hood, after all, kind of just closes over it anyway. There you go, so flip that top strap if I want to, but uh, again, the hood just folds over. Let me get this at a different angle. The hood folds over and holds the rope as well, so it's kind of not precisely necessary. And I got my two straps up here and here as well. Classic hood closure. And then, uh, Anything I want, I'll put in the hood. I don't really, uh, some hoods, and this one has it where there's a pocket on the bottom of the hood and on the top. Uh, I don't really tend to use the bottom hood pocket for really anything. But the top hood, I'll put my wallet, my keys, my phone, uh, all my snacks, uh, emergency communication, like my inReach. Uh, if I'm going somewhere really remote, I'll have that in the hood, uh, as well as like, knife lighter, you know, whatever else you sort of carry in your backpack. That's what I'll throw in the hood. And so here's the backpack 
all uh, fully set up. Uh, I do have options to clip stuff on the side. If uh, I had more gear in my pack, I could always stick the helmet on the outside. Um, if I was doing more things like Alpine stuff, I got ice axe holders. That's just sort of part of the packs that you buy. But uh, this is pretty much everything that's set up. Let me know if I left anything out. Uh, I do still have extra room to put whatever I want in here, um, especially the small necessity type items. But this is really all you need for a day out. Uh, multi-pitch climbing and then the cool part about this is it packs down super small so you can actually climb with it on route i've uh, done tons of times where i've actually climbed longer routes or more uh, adventurous routes and i just used this backpack but uh pulled the straps real tight stuck the hood inside the body and uh was able to pack it down real small so it didn't inhibit my climbing um another thing i will do especially if i have a small rack like maybe a just a sport rack uh, for a multi-pitch sport climbing is I'll make the pack even smaller by just taking the hood off and putting it at the very top like stuffing it inside the pack and putting it uh, and just have it at the top um, just so that way the pack uh, is just a bit smaller and then I'll still put the rope over if I'm carrying the rope and everything's there so uh, thank you for watching uh, if you have anything you like to include in your pack please leave a comment uh, if you feel like sharing and then uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.